We followed the map to reach the edge of the Thames, passing the medieval St. Mary Overy Dock, which contains a full-size modern replica of the Golden Hind, the galleon in which Sir Francis Drake sailed around the world. We walked down Pickford's Wharf, which turned into Clink Street, named after the liberty of clink and on the left we just saw the winchester palace remains the bishops of winchester traditionally had a powerful position both politically and economically in medieval england only the west side of the 12th century great hall with, with, with its unusual 14th century rose window remains the palace was used until the 17th century it was later converted into warehouses and the building largely destroyed by a fire in 1814. Inside the remains of the palace, we passed by Klink Museum, situated in the old Klink prison, whose notoriety gave birth to the well-known phrase about being in the Klink. The prison was founded in the 12th century and was connected by underground channels to Winchester Palace. Originally designed to hold troublesome priests, the clink became a useful place to imprison troublemakers from the nearby traitors, inns, and brothels. Whilst the conditions were brutal, the relationship between jailer and prison was a complicated one. During the reign of Elizabeth I, many Puritans were harshly treated under suspicion of plotting to overthrow the Queen. Some were thrown into the clink, often being starved to death. However, some survived and later traveled on the Mayflower to America in 1600s. The clink was burned down in the anti-Catholic Gordon riots and never reopened. It is fairly honest in its depiction of conditions inside the clink.
We continued west along the Thames path to reach Shakespeare's Globe, a fateful reconstruction of the original Elizabethan playhouse. Apart from putting on plays, it contains an excellent exhibition on Shakespeare and the theater's history.